This is a tutorial on the Early Childhood Program-wide PBS Benchmarks of Quality Data Entry Spreadsheet. So when you first open your spreadsheet, you'll see that the first tab is the Instruction tab. You'll see down at the bottom you have a Program Summary tab, a Data Entry tab, and a Graph tab. So on the Instruction tabs, you have some instructions on data entry. You also have my email here in case there are any issues as you enter data. The instructions are also here if you want a quick at a glance of where you should be entering data. The next tab is the program summary tab. On this tab it just gives you a summary of the data you've already entered. It's like a dashboard. At the top it gives you the percent of indicators in place not in place and partially in place by the dates of, of data entry. It also gives you that on a table. Below that, for each one of your dates, it tells you what, how many indicators are not in place, partially in place, and in place. So for establishing a leadership team, we'll see that there are two that are partially in place and five that are in place. And then if you look to the right, in this table here, it tells you exactly which benchmarks are not in place. So for example, family engagement, you'll see that there are four indicators that are not in place. And if you're wondering which indicators those are, they're in, they are number 10, 11, 12, and 13. So these numbers over here in this table, they are the number indicator in your benchmarks. And so if it's blank, it just then it's probably partially in place or in place. So it just gives you an added glance for each one of those. So as you scroll down, you'll see um, other dates that benchmarks may have been completed. You'll see that. For these dates here down below, for that you don't have data on yet, it'll just show all zeros, and all of the benchmarks will show up here. So these are dates where benchmarks were not completed yet. So here we only have two dates, September and in May. So this is just a dashboard that it, it will update as you enter data. So as far as data entry, that is your BOQ data entry tab. So this looks just like your paper form. You'll want to enter your program name, your location, and the team members who are completing it. The very top you'll want to enter the date that you completed these benchmarks, and then you'll enter either 0 for not in place, 1 for partially in place, or 2 for in place. So you'll do that for all of the indicators. And so these are the indicator numbers that I was referring to on this program summary tab. So when it says uh, number 10 is not in place, then you can come here and you'll see that this is number 10 right here. And you'll see that there was a 0 there for not in place. So you'll just enter 0, 1, or 2 for each one of the benchmarks until you get to 41. After that, you have um, your graphs on the next tab. In the next tab, you'll have the program name, location, and team members. These will copy over from whatever you typed on the data entry tab. And then you have your bar chart. And so this just has the dates where you did uh, where you completed these entries. If you, you also have this here, this is your uh, filter. If you want to filter your data and only look at one administration or maybe two, you may click on September and it will give you that. Or just on May, if you want to see both, you can click on um, one of them. So we'll click on May and then we'll hold down the control key on your keyboard, you click on September, and now it'll show you both dates. Below that, you have a table that also gives you the averages. So for the establishing a leadership team across all of, of those benchmarks, this was the average, and that is what is displayed here. So you have this as well. The only thing to remember here, after you enter data, you'll want to refresh this. And so you have a note here on how to refresh. So what you're doing is you're clicking on this chart. You're going up to Analyze. You're going to Refresh and Refresh All.
So as you enter data, you want to do that first. If you don't see your data show up, that means that you have not refreshed. So make sure that you refresh that. Once you refresh that, you'll see the date, and then you will have data. This filter here will also refresh. Again, if you have any issues with data entry, my email is on the instruction tab.